Hey everyone, it's Craig. Want to take a moment out before the show to tell you about our Patreon offerings. Yes, that's right, patreon.com slash Katya and Craig. That's the place to go if you want to join Hot Dog Club and gain access to hours and hours and hours and hours of exclusive content. For $5 a month, you get bonus episodes. A bonus episode you might be familiar with is the Thunderbuns episode. That's one of the examples we wanted to put out into the world of some of the magic you can get only on Patreon. For $7 a month, you get the bonus episodes as well as all of the listener questions episodes. And for $10 a month, well, for $10 a month, you get the bonus episodes, you get the listener questions episodes, and you get full access to all of our movie clubs. That's right, movie club, in which we all watch a movie together. I mean, not necessarily in the same room, but spiritually and emotionally together, followed by a full breakdown of the film. And sometimes the episodes are actually longer than the films themselves. Let's see, on movie club, we've done Suspiria, Steel Magnolias, Legend, John Waters' Hairspray, and coming soon, a very, very extended movie club all about Rocky Horror Picture Show, featuring Cherry and Sophie and Cherry's partner, Dozer, who amazingly had not only not seen the film before, had never heard of it. So we got to experience it with a true Rocky virgin. We'd love it if you subscribe on iTunes and leave a review for us, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Katya and Craig, which is spelled at symbol Katya and Craig. Katya, of course, is on tour with Help Me, I'm Dying, and a bunch of new dates have been added, so go to Katya Live and check that out. Lots of new and exciting dates added to Katya's Help Me, I'm Dying tour. Go to her website and check that out. Now that we've got that all taken care of, let's listen to my chat with Christine. A Russian ballerina Stomping on a bureaucrat A perky suburban housewife Who just got into scats Give it a beep, boop, 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 bow Boop, 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 It's whimsically volatile how are your headphones? Good. I could use a little more. Yeah, a little more. Headphones. Sure. How about that? Is Hello. that good? That's nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. Let me give you a little intro. Okay. Okay. And we're just talking. Yeah, we're just talking. Oh, good. Ladies and gentlemen, you may have heard about her. You may have seen her. You may have smelt her. It's Christine coming to the Williams of the Volatile Couch, ready to give all of her love to you. Welcome, Christine. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> that music's precious. Isn't it great? Yeah, it's like like a yeah, it's like an old PBS special kind exactly, of shit. Exactly, exactly. You're gonna learn something today. Oh, absolutely. And yes, that's I when um I think the children should only watch PBS when they stay home from school. <laughs> How often do you think they should stay home from school? Every day, <laughs> all the time. School's mm. for fools. <laughs> you were just uh, performing at the wrestling festival, right? Yeah, Lucha Vavum. Uh huh. It's at the Mayan Theater. Uh, yes. And it's loco. <laughs> it was really special. I have never in my life, and I mean this, ever cleared a room so fast. Really? In my life. How fast did you clear it? I mean, there were the old women loved it. Okay. I had accounts from friends in the audience that said <laughs> that there were daughters pulling their old mothers out of the room because <laughs> the mothers liked it. They were going too wild. They were, the grandmas loved it. Mm-hmm. Um, But many people had hands over their ears. I'm not lying. Like (laughs) hands over ears, shaking heads. Yes. Uh, Fingers on... uh, between the the bridge of the nose, yes, yes. Fing, the grabbing bridge of nose mm-hmm. and shaking head no <laughs> uh, a lot of this. In the first song I was doing, I was doing "Fix My Dick." Of course, yes. And I I, I had pulled the balloons out of my butthole, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and they had released mm-hmm. into the Mayan theater. <laughs> and I bent down. I think I was bending down to take off an article of qu- qu- uh, loosely quoted clothing, mm-hmm. and I literally heard this very lazy man. It was like a person on a couch, kind of. Uh, level of voice and he goes get off the stage and I just I just pulled my dick out that's the time and to I do spit it. at him and then I smiled it was great I mean that's what I like yeah and right, the, right my pal Rita Albert uh who brought me there she know she seen me she knew what she had brought into the sure, house sure yeah so more to it it was fun have you ever been put on a bill where people didn't know what they were getting into yes you know do you like that even better a little bit, yeah, <laughs> I do. But you know, yeah. as long as uh, they they can still give me a hug at the end of the night, I'm okay. <laughs> or give me that damn paycheck that they told me about, and that'll help too. If that story turns out to be true about the paycheck, it's always nice. Yeah, it's nice to be able to afford the litter for the t- for my cat. You know, <laughs> what's your cat's name? Tickles Pickles. Tickles Pickles. How old is Tickles Pickles? I believe he's in his maybe ninth or tenth. I found him in an alley, so oh. he was fully formed when I found him. Mm-hmm. He's on our new album. I sing a song. He sings on the album, mm-hmm. and he's 
uh, a regular in the scene now, for, thanks to me. So mm-hmm. I think he's in his 10th or 9th. Mm-hmm. And uh, taking over the scene, taking it by storm. He is, thanks to me. He's like them poor children actors that their parents drag into the, the, the brown light. <laughs> and uh, I'm definitely doing that for Tickles. Yeah, that just reminded me of Bustin' Brown for some reason. Mm. But. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's the truth. Bustin Brown. That's an old. That's an old chestnut from the collection. <laughs> Perfect for holiday time or any yeah, time, really. Yeah. Do you have a favorite holiday? Mm, mm, that's hard. I don't. They, I read. Okay. I don't know if it's a holiday. Mm, people in Germany told me it was bullshit, but I read. About in Christmas time, mm-hmm. they put there's a. Have you heard of the, a pickle? You put a pickle on the tree. I have never heard of that. I went to the shitty store once, <laughs> and they had these pickle ornaments, and then they swore on the package. It was bad, and they swore on the package that in Germany there's a tradition mm-hmm. that they <laughs> hang a, a pickle yeah. on their on their Christmas tree, <laughs> and something like the children have to find the pickle. Oh, find the pickle. And I mean, I, you know. Well, you know, and I got. Got excited and uh <laughs> and i don't know if that's really a holiday but the act of finding a pickle on a tree yeah. in germany yeah which is known for its purity uh, <laughs> is uh you know that's an exciting time for me i would like to go hunting for pickles and yeah trees. certainly here let me hold that for you oh cool i'm undressing if that's why <laughs> he's let me hold that right after we talk about the pickle hey, Sam, we talked about finding the pickle i wanted to speed I'm this process dragging up dragging it's, it's i can't understand the los angeles weather right now i actually can as well but I'm, i live here it. yeah who gives a fuck who talk about the weather on a podcast <laughs> well especially la weather because it's so fascinating it is weird. Yeah. waiting yeah. for the mud <laughs> well, always, right? Oh, yeah. Trying to find the pickle and wait for the mud <laughs> You're slides. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start performing? Uh, I remember the days beginning about maybe nine years ago. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, very petite and little bird in my voice. My, my little bird in my throat was chirping and mm-hmm. I just started letting it talk and... Yeah, I guess it's been like nine years, like Tickles Pickles, oh, you know? There you go. I yeah. think we may have started at the same time, yeah. which is why we're kindred spirits. Sure. And now why you're okay with you know presenting the talent of Tickles Pickles. Hell tickles, yeah. Tickles Tickles, if I'm mixing that up. you know. Tickles Pickles. Tickles Pickles, yeah, presenting the talent. You're not worried about anyone taking your spotlight because, you know, you're in the brown light. I am in the brown light. Firmly. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm paying the electric bill to keep it lit. So <laughs> And it's expensive sometimes. It yeah. is. Yes, in many ways. <laughs> Taxing, right? <laughs> doesn't have to be money. I was reminded of a quote of yours. Oh, uh, God, you're quoting me. Yeah, I'm quoting you from the James St. James Transformation I remember series. that, that poor shit. <laughs> I shoved his potato in a pillowcase, put terrible things in his eyeballs. Pillowcases are a staple of your... Fashion. Fashion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What did you quote? What you? Oh, hear the quote. For? Yeah. Didn't what wanna, did I say? Everybody's got an oven in their butthole. Oh, that's just true. Yeah, and I thought that was a very uh, salient and um, <laughs> and universal point. <laughs> it's true. Mm-hmm. You could even put your head in the oven if you've had enough. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> old Sylvia. It's uh, it's the truth. And uh, yeah, I'd like to celebrate the butthole. Sure. Yeah. Now, how do you celebrate the butthole? Well. I've been talking a lot at shows. You know, you know, you always have to find a way to let people understand that they are in some way connected in the in a room. Mm-hmm. And I like to tell everybody that uh, ev- I always start and I say everybody in this room is equal. Mm-hmm. And they all start clapping like generic bullshit, like oh sure sure whatever. And I'm like, no fuck you, hold on. And then I say everybody's equal in this room because everybody in this room has a butthole. Mm-hmm. This is true. And 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 you all have a butthole. You yeah. all do this thing with a butthole. Yeah. And uh, if everybody starts to enjoy each other's buttholes, I'm a big believer in a hole is a hole. Uh-huh. All holes. We all yeah. have these holes, you know. And a hole's a hole. And get out of your little room. Room, like saying that you you only like this kind of hole you only like that i believe in chemistry mm-hmm. but um you know you have to start like getting out of that little room you're in and the butthole is the best gateway hole <laughs> to the rest of the holes i could possibly imagine right even a butthole in someone that is you're familiar with or you're familiar with that type of person maybe investigate that sure. and then uh, then move on to maybe other buttholes yeah, yeah. i've got friends like i got this friend in london david hoyle mm-hmm. he's my kind of husband mm-hmm. and he always says that if if most straight men would put something in their butthole, we would have world peace. I think that's true. I do yeah. too. I'm an advocate for all kind of butthole play. Of yes, yeah. 
you know yeah. babies put everything in all the holes so the parents <laughs> tell them no <laughs> right i still pick my nose <laughs> <laughs> that's not quite as revelatory i think is the uh is the butthole play but still it's something <laughs> to pass the time it's a hole <laughs> when did you start thinking that about that uh just boom whenever i go out on the road and touring um i personally like I, I am hungry. I, I like uh, I like the buffet of life, mm-hmm. and uh, I said I'll be damned if uh, I go out here and uh, tell tell these people the things that I'm inspired by, but I don't myself eat from that buffet. Mm-hmm. And uh, sure, right? You can't you can't do that. No, you can't. And so I started uh, ordering many dilly dishes <laughs> from the buffet and uh, uh, arriving at the cafeteria as much as possible, mm-hmm. either spiritually or physically. Sure, sure. There's many ways you can eat from the buffet. Mm, and there's many hungers there's many hungers and many holes yes. so <laughs> so i just started to really patiently and excitedly uh sample many things and i still do and i think it's important for us as these creatures that came from this dirt to understand that you ain't no high-powered piece of shit who can you know say that you're above nature and all that crap you're a piece of this crap too yeah and right you can, you can fluidly put yourself into any hole or whatever <laughs> piece of nature you find suitable as long as it's not underage and you get arrested for that's it that's true yeah <laughs> it's the one basic rule right yeah, that's one yeah. of a big one yeah. yeah you know i mean nambler's all right but don't come don't come to my party tonight i can't deal with it <laughs> too rowdy too I've rowdy yeah. those nambler people and i ain't got enough diapers <laughs> How many did you carry with you on the road? About two. Yeah, that's about a that's, that's a good amount. It's all right. And yeah. if I don't use them, I'll turn them into an outfit. <laughs> Make a nice headpiece. Everyone's wearing berets now, so I'm wearing diapers. Mm-hmm. I think that's the new trend. <laughs> <laughs> so you build yourself as, uh, or I've called yourself genderqueer drag, not punk anarchist? Is that? Uh, like a drag. Punk terrorist. Sorry, terrorist, drag terrorist. Terrorist. Some shit like that. So I didn't write that down. I knew I'd screw it up. No, you ain't screwing nothing okay. up. Okay. It's, it's ding dong. I mean, I was just talking to someone today about. The, the need for all these people to associate you with something. Yeah, And yeah. when I started letting the bird in my throat talk, uh, I was I make videos with PJ Raval, and we were completely smacked with all these people saying, what is this, and what do y'all make, and what is this? And I was like, fuck this shit. And I, there was a performer, a brilliant person, Vaginal Davis. Mm-hmm. Uh, Great name. Yeah, Vaginal Davis classified themselves as a drag terrorist. And it was the only thing I could really understand and associate to please these sons of bitches who needed to have something to call me. Sure, yeah. So we went with that. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't hold on to it so much more anymore. And mm-hmm. I really just like to think of myself as an infiltrator. Uh, and that just feels the best for me. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. a creature from the dirt who infiltrates your life. And yeah. Very much enjoys spaces I don't belong in, like last night. <laughs> 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 who were the f- most offended at the first off? Oh, uh, it was the men, the straight men, so yeah, the big yeah, straight yeah. men. They, they, they're the worst. I mean, they're trying to run the world right now and look what the poop we're in. Mm-hmm. You know, these stupid men, they ain't stupid. They just, they need to get in the buffet. Yeah. And it's, it's hard. You're raised a certain way mm-hmm. and you get, you know, you get the belt strapped on and tightened up and the, mm-hmm. and the, the guards put on and you, you ain't got the time. And then you got old Mr. Jesus slapping you in the back of the head every time you even think about it. So fuck it. Yeah, so what about religion? What about it? <laughs> Do you have you much got use some for time? it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, they sit around and eat the body of somebody and drink the blood from a cup. It's a cult. That's all it is. Yeah. And I know some cults out there that are much more fun. <laughs> so it's a cult. And it just happens to be one of the biggest fucking cults in the world mm-hmm. run by pretty much white men mm-hmm, mm-hmm. sitting in a castle in Rome. Who have way too much in common with Nambla sometimes. Yeah, hello. Yeah. And so I'm like, when do people wise up and say, these are a bunch of white closeted gay men wearing Nelly outfits, <laughs> drinking <laughs> blood and eating body parts yeah. from a dead gay man <laughs> like who hung out with dykes and hookers. Like, yeah. what are we talking about here? Yeah. But you know what? I ain't got time for that shit. If they want to believe it, go for it. I'm too busy over here in this buffet having a good time and doing my spiritual needs. Now, you were talking about your collaborator, PJ. What's his last PJ name? PJ Revol. 
Revol. PG, yes, PG Revol. And you really make the most of small budgets with your videos, right? You no, know, we do. Mm. Yeah. I mean, that's the joy. I think of um, I, mm, my favorite thing is to. Uh, we imagine what we want. Mm -hmm. We realize we'll never get it, <laughs> so we make it ourselves. Yeah, and that really uh, opened us up. And uh, especially me, when I started discovering what I was or what the what the fuck was telling me to come into that in that room in this room and come down this road, little little trash. I will <laughs> teach you things. Mm -hmm. The spirits and all. Um, I learned very early on, thanks to the guidance of PJ and and special people like PJ that. You know, it's, you got what you need to do to do it. And, and I don't need to go break into some Versace store and get jewelry. I can just make my own out sure. of peanuts and, and twine. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's a joy in the videos that we love to express of, mm -hmm. of our, our own personal creative process. And then the videos are little movies. Yes. They're not music. I don't know shit about music. <laughs> I don't know shit about the music industry. <laughs> uh, I have infiltrated it in some way. And it it's best to not know everything if you're an infiltrator because you don't want to get hung up on things or maybe know too much. No, and you're kind of like those people, the smart people at the party who show up, say hello and leave, but the other people never know you came or left, you know? Or you just <laughs> right. saw the right person and said, hey, I love you, and yeah. you sneak out and French exit and go to the next one. Yeah, and then you don't have to hang around until things And use their good. bathroom oh, of course. before you go. Of course, yeah. And if you need the booze, tip into that too. <laughs> uh, and slap the baby on the way out. But yeah. um, Make the rounds, make an impression. Yeah, yeah. but the, creating those videos, we were very fortunate because we lived in Austin mm -hmm. and PJ works in the film industry and there were a body of very wonderful friends of ours mm -hmm. who just wanted to have fun sure and that's what we said we said if you come do this We'll feed you because I always cooked uh, jambalaya. Mm -hmm. Well, you're a southern lady, right? Yes, yes. I'm a Louisiana uh, troll, <laughs> and um, and I would cook a big old thing of jambalaya. And then we'd have sodas and booze and all. And yeah. then they would show up, they would eat, and we would say, don't worry, you will, we guarantee you have a good time. Yeah. And they fucking always, always, always did. It looks like they did. Yeah. And so films, we wouldn't yeah. have made those without the help of those generous friends. And uh, and we didn't have money. And, and we had to then start doing those wretched crowd funders, which are not so wretched because you understand who loves you out there. And well, certainly we have Patreon for the podcast for oh, bonus yeah, Patreon content. is cool. It's really cool. Yeah. And I don't, really have a I, I'm community. trying to start to figure it out. Yeah. Uh it's a it's a lot. But yeah. I it's another thing to do, you know? Yeah, sure. But I would very much like to do it. Yeah. Uh, so oh, I think it would be perfect for you, really, especially with the uh project dependent things with the videos yeah. and, you know, sometimes you're making a record sometimes you're making a video sometimes you just want to I'm do painting a lot now oh really okay so like you know what i'm uh, i don't stick to one genre mm -hmm. you know <laughs> especially this music industry and stuff i don't stick to it so mm -hmm. it's it's just good to to find yeah if people like it then please throw that down i'll take it are you currently on uh GoFundMe or Indiegogo or mm -hmm. Kickstarter, any project no, that's in the works? God, no. no. Did you have a bad experience with any of those? No, I had a beautiful experience. Good. Yeah, tell me about I that. I was able to do my last album that came out, Basura. Yeah. Uh, I was floored by the kindness, such kindness of people out there who under, we raised the money we needed under a month. Wow. Yeah. Less than a month, yeah. under a month, and um, <laughs> and uh, I've been under a month I, one time. Yeah, me yeah. too. It's, does not feel good. <laughs> um, I, these people from all over the world just banged it out, and then these really beautiful, generous, big bangers mm -hmm. banged it out. Uh, peers of mine, you know, mm -hmm. people who I thought the way they looked were broke as shit. <laughs> they banged it out, and it was one of the most uplifting and inspiring things that uh, I experienced with the f people that I've had the, the, um, the, the good fortune to share my work with mm -hmm. all over on these tours. Sure. They came back and they apparently liked what they <laughs> ate and they, they, they threw down for it. And, yeah. and when you're vulnerable and you're making new music and you trying to understand if people really give a fuck about you or they just really like your hair sure uh, yeah it really it really established a, a a relationship with these people that i've 
happily met on the road that mm -hmm. really for bonded us together. Certainly, yeah. And um, I tried, and I felt I succeeded in rewarding those people, <laughs> not only with the album, which I love, yeah. but little gifts. And, and uh, I realized, oh, I did the worst thing. You got to hear about it. Oh, this. I, I do have to hear about it. Was like if y'all do this much money, I'll send you the. You'll get the free album, the the record, yeah, a vinyl. They oh, call yeah, it. Oh yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'll ship you the vinyl. And my, I don't have a distributor. Sure, yeah. And shit. So I mailed all these vinyls to Germany and UK and all these places. And then the vinyl had a price tag on it. And then when it arrived in the, the countries, they yeah. put a. a uh, well, yeah, a fee on it, a customs oh, fee. Oh, so they had to. And I didn't. For, I forgot to lie and say that it cost nothing. Oh, right. So these poor people got these vinyls that they'd already paid for, and then had to pay extra, <laughs> like thirty dollars. Some of them. Oh, and wow. And I was yeah. like, I can't let this be a bad experience for people. So I then, <laughs> my friends threw a pool party in uh -huh. Austin for them, mm -hmm. for themselves, and I showed up at the pool party and I made videos for each person and to talk to them. I said their name and I said, I threw a pool party for you <laughs> and I'm here to tell you I'm sorry. And then I, I sent them a video and special for them. And I uh, then tried to put them on the guest list or discounts, which I probably fucked that up too. When you're on tour, you try. <laughs> it's but very hard, yeah, to keep hard. track of things. But yeah. I did meet some of those little queens out there, and yeah. they were very happy. And they said, I got your apology video. And I was like, ah. Oh. I'm sure they were thrilled because, yeah. you know. Well, who wants. I didn't want that to be a bad experience. And that was my fault for not having a well just not you know i'm new to these things so yeah distributors usually do that for you sure yeah and i'm learning as i go yeah. so i'm happy i have friends and fans who are patient and understanding of my idiocracies sometimes <laughs> uh my charm i call it and uh and i'm glad that they stuck around and and still stick around so the, the crowdfunding was good and it was yeah. a lot of work it's sure. painful work yes. <laughs> i do not advise anyone out there to do these terrible things to yourself you might as well i'd rather you go i don't know but uh <laughs> you wouldn't want to say less they go yeah, and I was actually gonna say I was like, no, that's not good. <laughs> so, uh, but it's a yeah. family show, you know, yeah, we don't family mean, show. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it was good, and and thanks to the generosity of those people, we made an album, and I would never have been able to do it without them at mm -hmm. all. And oh. so I think actually you might want to check out Patreon. We can message about it a little bit because it's uh, good for a little. If you want to do one song or you want to do little yeah. things, yeah, here, yeah. Or there, yeah, yeah. What kind of music do you like to listen to? Recently, I've been listening to classical harp music. Interesting. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I love the harp right now. And I, I'm really interested in collaborating with some harpists. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been listening to lots of uh, any kind of uh, collection of strange harp music. Mm -hmm. I like a lot right now. Yeah. Uh, and I've been uh, listening. I, I don't, I get, I don't. I don't have a special kind. It's a mood, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Just general vibe of the yeah, harp. The, what does it do to you, the harp, when you listen to it, it? It 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 takes me away from the madness of of the rooms I'm usually in. Sure. Uh, in the mornings when I when the cock crows, <laughs> it, it really just kind of. It, it it adjusts my my the, the monkey in my brain yeah. in a very special way, and it, it puts me. It ain't that fucking stupid like massage soothing hot <laughs> shit. Sure, yeah, this yeah. is old clanky shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a little flute. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, you know, and it's um, it, it's a, uh, it, it's just really soothing to me. Uh, and it it, it makes it it's a it's it, it's very fluid in my in my brain. So um. I've been listening to that a lot lately, yeah. and uh, I've actually been enjoying the sounds of all the instru all the musicians on um, the subway in New York right now. Okay, now what kind of musicians? Like, what's the current Goodness scene? Goodness gracious, for that? I'm a hog in heat for the saxophone. Oh, right you, now. yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, like that dirty old like Huey Lewis and the oh, new sure. saxophone. Mm -hmm. That's one. I know exactly but also, what you mean. Also, give me that. Uh, of uh, Vangelis. Oh, yes. Shit. Yeah. Oh, girl. <laughs> Vangelis yeah. is like pornography mm -hmm. for me. How about the, you know, the Tequila Sunrise soundtrack? No. It's raunchy. We'll pull a little sample. Okay. And then we'll hear the theme song of uh, 
something that I think is dear to you based on your tattoo. Oh, I fucking know what you're going to do, you stupid <laughs> idiot. <laughs> I'm looking at the tattoos on me and I'm like, none of these have a... Oh, shit. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, fuck, I'm already in love. What is this shit? The soundtrack to the film Tequila Sunrise starring Mel Gibson and Michelle Pfeiffer and Kurt Russell. Didn't they do the Baker Boys? Oh, that was a different That was uh, uh, Bridges. Uh, Bridges, yeah, the Bridges Brothers. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Michelle yeah. Pfeiffer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, yeah, that is yeah. like, that's got to come back into our lives. Yeah, it really does. I'm sure it's, it's in the lives of many people. Many. I think we might be inflicting it on some now, too, which is, is good. This is like a clean version of Vangelis. <laughs> <laughs> it's so delicious and I'm really interested. I'm excited about like this yeah. fucking a hop. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I that's can see where that. I shouldn't be pouring my beans out on your show <laughs> right now. If I start hearing people with harp and sax music. You know, it's, it's, yeah. It's so, um, it's so gross. Yeah, it's so gross, it's, but somehow soothingly gross. Remember when like Bill Clinton's brother was playing the saxophone oh, on all the TV shows? Roger Clinton. Yeah, yeah. he looked yeah. like he was doing terrible <laughs> things. <laughs> he did really terrible did. things. He probably had a Nambla emergency <laughs> dial. <laughs> like that man, I was like, and then Bill was playing the saxophone too, right? Oh, you know, you know, Roger Clinton played Farm Aid years ago. Uh, you got to hear this. I think you'll enjoy this. It's, ins- it's inspirational in a certain way. Those were weird times. They were very weird and times. And the saxophone was a part of that. Yeah, that, they really were. And, and then Bill on the Arsenio show. Yes. Doing, yeah. Didn't it, his brother did play or am I making that Actually, up? Actually, no. His brother sang. His, his brother, brother sang. sang. His Bill did the saxophone. Let's see. Right. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Is that his brother? That's his brother, Roger. Yeah. Blessed be. Once again, never the bad politics. That's My name is Roger brother. Clinton, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for you coming out here and being a part of this great, great. I occasion. bet Bill was not thank happy you. about this. <laughs> I have a and feeling. I bet Hillary was kicking the cat. This is the one, because he starts the song with a really impassioned plea to the audience. Oh, another ad for cold package Why stuff. Why did they do this to us? Although I like that a Roger Clinton uh, spot is promoted by beer. Beer, of course it is. Have you Clinton, seen his hair? Politics. We are from uh, the left coast. Oh no. Uh, and we're here for all of you. We're is here he for the American his farmers. The I American think so. Farm family, okay? Let me say one thing real quick. And this is my brother cutting into my stage time, and I don't like it. Whatever. That's why you <laughs> got stage time, you dipshit. <laughs> he just got through calling me before I came out here. I'm sure he did. He calling you on a rotary phone. <laughs> pleading with you to stay away. not plugged into the wall. <laughs> the package that was just defeated. Can I make a note that he is wearing yes, a please. thick shirt yes. with a long sleeve thick shirt under it, <laughs> yes. and it's tucked into his pants. When people start tucking thick shit into their white jeans and shit, and I get nervous. Pulling, and it keeps hiking He's them pulling jeans, the jeans yeah. on. I get yeah. really nervous. I'd rather see someone pull, start to pull a gun out of their pants <laughs> like that than yeah. have a, than like, this. A, like a thick I gave blood today sweater <laughs> with yeah. another sweater under it tuck, tucked into pants. Now, the beginning, I think, is... This is really where it gets raunchy, oh, I think. People out there can see what we're looking at right now. By the way, I guess we ought to mind buffer if we ought to promote our album, at least. We got an album coming out on Atlantic, hopefully in about... about our oh, he should... When you just heard, and this one will be on They believed him. Fuck him. Websites, they're great. Want one? Get Wix. We're doing it. So the reason it's not up yet, totally down to us. We've been traveling too much. We're all over the place. We're in different parts of the country at the moment. However, what that really means is we're taking extra, extra care to make sure everything on the website is as glorious as we want it to be. We could have had it up yesterday, two weeks ago, a month ago, because that's how easy it is to use Wix because we don't know coding. I mean, do you know coding? A lot of people don't. And a lot of people are a little intimidated by the fact that they're not tech whizzes. You don't have to be one to use Wix. And using Wix is how you're gonna get a fabulous professional website. There's 140 million other people who use Wix for their website, and you can start and publish for free. You choose from over 500 stunning templates or start from scratch, and you can change, customize, or add anything you want. And all sites include built-in SEO tools. Now that's SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization, which is very, very helpful, particularly for businesses, if you want your website to be found. It's really the most technologically advanced website building platform available. 
tools for every kind of business from e-commerce to music to hotels, events, uh, restaurants, and more. And if you're just making a personal website, well, why not make it look the best you can, right? And also, it's so easy with Wix, why not? There's no HTML or CSS necessary. You can get started now by going to Wix.com, that's W-I-X.com slash podcast, to get 10% off. Again, that's Wix.com slash podcast. And soon we'll be sharing our website with you, and we want to see yours that you make with Wix. Oh, wait, he's introduced by Willie Nelson. When he comes out, poor Willie. Thank you for coming to Farm Aid, brother. Willie's like, get me off this <laughs> fucking stage right now. Hello, everybody. What up? That's oh, what I wanted. Oh, no. Yeah, that's all we need to hear. That is all. What you just heard is what his outfit looks like. <laughs> that's exactly what his outfit Fuck looks like. Fuck me. Yeah. What up? And he's the president. That guy still won the presidency. Yeah, still. Yeah, still. Oh, then he blew it. Yeah. Ah, ah stupid. <laughs> I had to. I had to. Listen, if Roger's going to do his thing, we're going to do ours. I know. But yeah, that's that's treacherous. <laughs> it is. So there's harp, there's saxophone. Harps and saxophones. I've been listening to La Belle okay. Oh, La Belle's lot. fabulous. Like, La Belle yeah. has given me so much joy lately mm-hmm. the outfits are fabulous too outfits are wonderful my my dear friend rick owens the mm-hmm. designer he's very inspired by the designers of all the labels mm-hmm. and kiss and grace oh, jones yeah. and all that and he just did a runway show that was very inspired by mm-hmm. all that uh and uh, labelle is really fucking good I yeah mean, patty labelle's insane good uh-huh but i just Oh, I love that right now so much yeah. in the shower time. Sure, yeah. And um It's good to get going music. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah. And then um yeah, those are the things I'm listening to right now. Mm-hmm. Harps, saxophones, and the bell. Well, I can see <laughs> I imagine a future blend of all of it's, these then. I think yeah, it's yeah. cooking. You know when something's cooking and <laughs> And uh, I'm definitely welcome. I'm patient. I'm a patient soul. Yeah. So I like to let it cook. And then the subway stuff. The which, subway stuff, which yeah. the saxophone. Any neighborhood you're in will have a piece of uh, that neighborhood on the subway singing or playing music and stuff. And that's, mm-hmm. I've been recording it on my little machines. Oh, yeah. And I like to listen to it at home. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's nice. And now, how do you assemble pieces of music or what's the I first don't know bit? yet you don't know like, well i mean like oh, for in the, me uh, i thought yeah. you made the subway sounds oh, no. i'm like i don't know <laughs> how do i do my yeah. music what's the first starting block usually i guess i just like uh it's a, a hook i guess they call it yeah. i just hear something in my yeah. head like when we wrote african mayonnaise uh, that was really my dance at t gravel we were at Folsom street fair mm-hmm. and we came out of this dark club that was in the middle of the day but dark inside <laughs> and he, we be. just started african man names african man names yeah. and we just started doing that together a lot of the songs come from the adventures on the road sure okay or like a song on my new album it was called hong kong superstore mm-hmm. and there was a store in i think it was berlin called hong kong superstore and i said well what does that mean to me <laughs> so i figured what was going on in my life how to relate it to that yeah but i th- there's always a narrative of sorts yeah that i want to address or just something starts banging and uh like big shot uh i just kept hearing that like that kind of because yeah. remember three two one contact yes yes on pbs of and course. the bloodhound gang of course all yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. so three to one contact is just a very strange chapter in my brain. Yeah. And it was like these kids living in this shaggy <laughs> porno place. Yeah. And then I remember the Bloodhound Gang, that con- detective y kind of kids detect. It was just, it was as though. Those shows on PBS at that time, it was like your parents dropping you off at your fucking pervy gay uncle's house <laughs> and being like, we going to work. Y'all, they bring you to the video store first. Because yeah. when the video stores came out, the parents, our parents didn't understand that the what the video stores were. They thought they were just, I don't know what they thought. Just distraction And they machines, would drop yeah. you off in the video store. Yeah. And we go, my God, the things we saw, the oh, covers. Sure, you yeah. know, Spit on Your Grave was like a, a normal place in my yeah, head. Body double. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah hello. Uh, right. And, uh, and then it's as though they dropped you off at the video store. Then they dropped you off at your pervert Nambla uncle's house. That's what 3 to one Contact's living room was like. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, man, when I got older looking at this shit, I was like, 
this is dirty, weird place. And there's no parents. No, there's no, you it's never these, see them. It's these yeah. adolescent people in this shaggy room. Yeah. So Big Shot, that song of Big Shot was yeah. very inspired by the three to one contact perversion producer of that. I was like, we need to tap into that space, that three to one contact pervert shit what i just described yeah, exactly yeah i think the song must feel like that yeah and i believe we could accomplish I think, that yeah you could, I, I, I uh well let's check out a little bit of the three two one contact make here. sure it's the old one contact is the answer is the reason why everything happens you remember that that's it contact is the reason is the and look, they just showed a fried egg and an OC, the dirty baby getting killed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a frog. Frog devouring, it's yeah. It's fucked up. Here we go. Trampolines. Go, Let's make contact. <laughs> uh-huh. See the whispering. Oh, Three, yeah. Two, one. Ah, uh, contact. See? Yeah, it's classic. It's yeah. fucked up. It is fucked, it's fucked up. Fucked up that I just sang that with you. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's ingrained in our head. Uh -huh. It'll never leave. It'll cult. never leave. That's a cult I'll that, share. Absolutely. I'll yeah. join that before I join that fucking dirty white man's cult in the castle. They got better living rooms. They got better synthesizers. Fuck, and they got mm -hmm. dirty shit. They going got real on dirty there shit. That they're talking about openly. Yeah. <laughs> they're, not, they're not hiding it. No, they're hiding in plain sight. Yeah, yeah. exactly. There's matches being lit. Yeah, there's <laughs> light bulbs going off. Children whispering to <laughs> each other sign me up <laughs> i want that <laughs> and so your producer is uh named again what oh that was jj booyah jj booyah who did that one yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have, I have a couple of producers i mm -hmm. like to i like to uh, spread it out because i have different tastes in music well sure it's the buffet of uh, yeah, music, music. Right? i like all buffets yeah so the buffets are good <laughs> uh so yeah jj did that one he did most of the songs on uh waist up knees down album yeah uh, he's a dirty old shit back from baton rouge mm -hmm. and uh he's wonderful and and um yeah that was big shots actually one of my favorite songs i've ever made yeah it's a great one it was a very you know when you collaborate with someone and you have that magical window of time where you really uh can communicate without mm -hmm. words mm -hmm. and realize something so special and um not only the song but that video for big shot sure uh but that was a very important uh time yeah and and it was when things were really um communicating in very strange ways mm -hmm. a very special time uh and and yeah and I owe it all to three to one contact. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, really. it won't stop. <laughs> one of the videos that I really like is uh, the footage of you making a nice uh, little surprise. Yeah, uh, of living there and um, kind of celebrating all of the places in there. And, and, and then the whole uh, feeling of the song was about celebrity. And this, mm. this was around the time when the Kardashians were really um, affect, uh, infecting our <laughs> lives and harming us at those first stages when we didn't have an antibiotic sure. to deal with them. Mm -hmm. Now they're uh, resistant. To now, yeah. yeah, they've become one of those superbugs. Thanks to people like Kanye West and stuff who yeah, have, uh, yeah. who have uh, put a wall up to our antibiotics, and like it's a very <laughs> tricky situation. It's new science, yes, it's very and scary. then they won't give us health care. We can't deal with no, this right. new disease, <laughs> so we're fucked. Basically, dinosaurs probably could have uh, they Ordered would have been dead a lot faster, maybe, sure, yeah. if they'd have been around there. But um, you know, I was really affected by this wretched form of celebrity. Mm -hmm. And how I always say, like, the Kardashians and all, we're like, they're, they're basically turds, <laughs> but they have sugar and sugar and glitter on them. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, fuck this. But why are people eating this turd? Yeah. And I said, I'm just going to give them the turd. <laughs> right, I'm fuck varnished. the sugar, yeah. fuck yeah. the glitter and the yeah. fake, you know, suave Oscree crystals and shit. <laughs> I'm just going to give you the poop. Yeah. And, uh, why can't I do that and be this celebrity that you fucks are doing? Mm -hmm. And um, and that's what we kind of, that was the narrative for that. And then we wanted to celebrate Austin at the same time. <laughs> and we shot it on the day of the rapture. Do you remember the rapture? Oh, right. Yeah. The big one. The big, yeah, yeah. The uh, serious one that had all the people disappeared. Yeah. During. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Changed uh, the whole changed country. Changed my life. Yeah, mine too. Uh, <laughs> mine too. <laughs> Y2K, what was that? Yeah, I mean, I'm that, talking about the rapture. The 
serious one. Uh, I still got my bank card. It works. <laughs> but um, yeah, the rapture, we, fought, we shot it on that day, two days. Mm -hmm. It culminated to the rapture and then we finished it. And um, yeah, Scientology was one of the only places we went to where they were not happy with us. <laughs> Aggressively not and, happy. And normally they love celebrities. So uh, You know, you yeah. know, I'm a danger to their celebrities mm. though. I accidentally got uh, sent one of the celebrity magazines. It was the wrong address or some old tenant or something. And so it's like, uh, I'll take it out. We'll have a look later. Okay. We'll laugh. Yeah, the celebrity. It's all people you've never heard of, will never hear of, but they're up and coming. Oh, in this magazine? Yeah, it's like, oh, the Scientology Celebrity Magazine, I think. It's like Celebrities of the Future or oh, something. Oh, I love that. You ever heard The Road to Freedom, uh, L. Ron Hubbard's, well, the Scientology album? Mm, no. You want to hear a little bit of it? So, yes. Yeah, yeah. So the trade-off on vocals of this is uh, John Travolta, Frank Stallone, and Leif Garrett. What? Uh huh. And uh, like Chick Corea plays on it. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> who produces? I need to get this person on board. Yeah, reach out to them. Oh. Ooh, see? Are you. See? That's right the there. horns. The that's horns. The horns. But that's yeah. trumpet, I think. Get on the road to oh, my lord. It's like you're trying to walk, but you're dragging a dirty foot behind you, <laughs> and there's like, oh, and it's raining on you. And the band-aid is coming off. Yeah, you yeah. peed your leg. Mm -hmm. And then... If night looks dark, days dark. I think that's Frank Stallone. Wow. Holds, no that's still Frank. And then Man. I think it goes to John, I think. Poor John. There is one or maybe oh. they trade verses, I'm not sure. Poor John. <laughs> that solves it all, I'll write. Get on the road God damn, that yeah. puts We Are The World to shame. It really does. I mean, that that's a nice song, but this, this is a meaningful one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's some fucked up shit. Isn't it? I'll send you the the whole thing Please so you can enjoy do. it. I'll start start my mornings like that. Yeah. And you'll see what that you'll be doing my next crowdfunder, <laughs> son of a bitch, because you did this to me. I'm infecting <laughs> you with something. I'll be stealing your I'll be piping your Patreon money <laughs> down to my end of the neighborhood. Uh, fucker. I'll just be getting a skull and crossbones it, message on the computer. You'll be getting some feral cats up at your door. <laughs> oh my God. How did you meet JJ? Uh we met well, we had known each other from New Orleans times mm -hmm. no it's new orleans where, uh, where i've lived from? in new orleans oh, okay. a long time yeah and we were kind of known together there and then when i came to austin he was there yeah and i was like hey jj and we started hanging out again and he was he does music and all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. uh, lighting he's a little wizard and um and I and I had already started working. Uh, uh, J T. Allman, mm -hmm. oh, did fix my dick. He was mm -hmm. my first okay. producer. Yeah, uh, the, this guy named Power Hammer did Tears for My Pussy and Slow mm -hmm. to Easy. Mm -hmm. And then uh, J J. jumped on and started doing the rest yeah. of that album. And uh, you know, it's chemistry and uh in 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 family and mm -hmm. and someone who can understand what you it's in in the head when you understand what's in theirs yeah and um we just hit it off for a nice a nice chunk of time do you find that you know pretty quickly when you meet someone if you could work with them or not oh absolutely mm -hmm. yes yeah i'm a firm believer in chemistry sure yeah uh, you know usually some people some of my favorite people i hated when i first really? met them. okay yeah, yeah a lot of my best friends i fucking hated <laughs> like it was brief but it was like who the fuck is this idiot <laughs> and then but now i've known that if i really don't like you at the beginning you're probably gonna be my best friend okay there's something so there that something, really sets you yeah, off something honed off of my head and i was like <laughs> oh you need to hang out with this person because you fucking hate them yeah yeah and it's only happened several times but it's it's worth it yeah and 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 then if i do end up hating them then fuck off yeah I, then i don't mm -hmm. have to hang out with them mm -hmm. anymore how long does it usually take to realize that maybe the th after the second time i've hung out with them okay yeah you know, I'll, mm -hmm. it'll become intrigue mm -hmm. and then it'll become like taste this <laughs> and, see what it, and then it's like okay 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 sure yeah, yeah. i usually i'll hate them for a reason mm -hmm. and maybe it's probably because they're doing something i want to do and i hate them <laughs> so, i don't know yeah but it, it's that kind of thing now what about dating 
oh, I, I have a cat named Tickles Pickles, <laughs> and uh, that's that's my life. And I have my my dancers, yeah, uh, T Gravel, sure, and uh, Dog Elf, mm -hmm. and Chubby D, and mm -hmm. retired now retired C Baby. Mm -hmm. uh, they are my my loves, and uh, I really just find satisfaction from my close people uh -huh. and uh in in my cat and chickens i got some, some chickens you got some, some chickens, chickens yeah mm -hmm. and, I, and i think in the, another interview you said you feel closest to chickens in the I animal do love world chickens yeah a lot. i do yeah love. what is it about chickens that you feel can they make with? me laugh okay they're, yeah they're they have such a societal hierarchy over i don't know if any of those are real words <laughs> But I'm trying to talk smart on a nice couch. <laughs> they have rules. Well, thank you very they much. They have lots of rules. Okay, sure. And you know, like when you have the older chickens, if you bring new chickens into the yard, mm -hmm. like the older chickens have to get everything first, and the the new chickens, it's just that's the way they are. And the, sure. the, the new little chickens have to wait, and they get to eat last, mm -hmm. and and they don't get any of the nice stuff that the older chickens get. And then the rooster is such a piece of shit, and when you sit, it's very calming to watch chickens, kind of like the harp music uh, sure, in okay. the morning. Yeah. And if you have the luxury and the and the good fortune mm -hmm. to be in a beautiful field or yard in a country place and to sit and watch the chickens, mm -hmm. it really, I think, is better than any therapy you'll ever have, mm. better than any advice your friends or enemies will ever try to slide you. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it, a meditative kind of thing. Very, uh, that's the word. It's just, um, it's very special. And then they're very funny. So while you're in that meditative state, mm -hmm. uh, I, you laugh. Um, uh, unless one of them poor chickens got plucked so bad their butt's bald, <laughs> which happened once, that's all. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, there's a, it's a very beautiful space to be in and it's got, it brings you joy and laughter and you also can see how kind of a community functions. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it a lot. Now, do you like people watching as well? No, they're mm. boring. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're making decisions. Okay. They're, they chose to look that way. Yeah. But <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm more interested in people listening, like like uh, on the subway and stuff. Like oh, I was yeah. saying, mm -hmm. like I, I I'm okay with that. But people watching, it's not so exciting anymore because everybody's watching on the machines. Everyone's mm. got their. I don't know. I just I'd rather pull back and hear something. Sure, yeah. Um, well, but, it's a lot more evocative, really. You yeah, hear a shard of conversation. Yeah, and just yeah, people watching. Who cares? Hey, it's John Cameron Mitchell on a beautiful spring day in New York. And I really love your show, Craig. I, I, but I really do need to know um, for my own peace of mind and perhaps yours, if you're gay, are you gay? I always like to know when when someone's gay. I mean, I forget I asked this if it's uncomfortable for you. Um, but it's an uncomfortable world, so you should be ready to be uncomfortable. Work. For those of you ignorant fucks out there who don't know what this is, <laughs> this is the theme song to Murder, She Wrote, starring Jessica Fletcher, played by Angela Lansbury. And when did you get the Angela Lansbury tattoo, the Jessica Fletcher tattoo? Jessica Fletcher tattoo. Forget I got me. it like three years ago yeah. in London mm -hmm. this woman named Sarah Gregory yeah. I was staying at my friend Lyle Hakariah's house yeah. he has a place in London called Vogue Fabrics mm -hmm. and Sarah used to do I that. thought it was Vogue but I didn't Vogue a Vogue way forgive Vague me Vague forgive me Vague. you <laughs> you just lost $50 on Patreon I did I did uh, but, but it was um, uh, this woman Sarah is so cool and she she doesn't work in a studio anymore uh huh and she makes uh, house calls, and she came over, and I just laid on the couch at Lyle's house, and we, for five hours we listened. I had a, I was playing some Marlene the Dietrich music. Oh, sure. And Lyle has his piece of shit CD player <laughs> that just repeats the CD over and over. Uh -huh. And we were laying there, and five hours in, like Sarah's like, I've never heard the album longer than this of Marlene <laughs> Dietrich. It's like you dumb jackass. This has been on forever, and. I, I, yeah, I got to lay on a couch and talk about everything in the world, and, and Sarah did the most beautiful job. Mm -hmm. uh, you, what was your first tattoo? My first tattoo is on my back, mm -hmm. and it's uh, 
there's a painting by Salvador Dali, the Temptation of Saint Anthony. Mm -hmm. I think it's those long-legged elephants、okay. that are walking, and underneath an elephant is a little spirit thing.、Mm -hmm. It's like I think you can see. Oh yeah, you see it there. Let me see. Is it on that side or that side? I think it's that this thing. One, yeah, it's a little ghost that was under an elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that was my first one.、Mm -hmm. And you know. Now they 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 just come as they come,、mm -hmm. you know. How long do you usually tour at any given time? Oh, I however long they want <laughs> they want me. <laughs> I like to go usually windows of like four three months now. I usually go plop my ass in London,、um, and then I can go out from London. I've got very wonderful. Wonderful people and friends in London. I'm、mm -hmm. very fond of it. Okay, and、yeah. so、uh, I'll usually set up my my little camp there. Yeah, and then go everywhere. And usually it's a good three months.、Mm -hmm. I like to tour. I haven't done a real tour in the United States. Like okay, a, like a a a real tour. It's very hard to get the dancers on board、mm -hmm. with everyone's doing so much stuff. Yeah, but I and I don't really like the structure of the music industry of like shit album out, go tour album. <laughs> like I don't want to make an album ever again. I was, I don't because <laughs>、yeah. it's like I never did before. I always just made a song. We made a song. We made a video. We put it out. We made a song. We made a video. We put it out. And、yeah. then one day I was like, oh, I have twelve songs. Well, my, let's put them in a box. Sure. Yeah. But yeah. the second album. You know, I made like thirteen songs and、I、had to sit on them for two years. No,、oh, that's hard.、And、yeah. Luckily, because they were made from my heart and whole. Yeah. They're relevant today, and I can still make a video or have a discussion on the stage about a song I made two years ago, and it works. Right. Uh, and uh, Top Kill on the new album is、mm -hmm. about you know a picture I saw of Queen Elizabeth and her dirty husband and the Pope walking down the hall in. Uh, what's that palace they live in? Buckingham Palace, and and I was like, look at those three dangerous, wretched, powerful people,、yeah. and I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? You know, and it made me really mad, like the Kardashians did. Sure, yeah. And it was this the, this collection of this power and this cult that's holding yeah, on, and、sure. this monarchy. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Is this, what are these structures that people believe in? Yeah. And they're thinkers so benign. Yeah. And I, yeah, and I wrote that song "Top Kill," you know, fucking four years ago. Uh huh. And then it made it to the album. And then when I sing it today, it very it's so relevant still. And so I believe in that those courses of action with the music. But fuck albums. I just want to like <laughs> make a song that's happening right yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Like I want to make a saxophone harp song. Yeah. Exactly. Now, yeah. But I don't want to make it now and sit on it for two fucking years. No, of course not. So、right. the touring is naturally kind of falling into that. Phase as well. I don't. I don't look at it as touring anymore. It's like I'm. I'm going on an adventure. Yeah.、Uh, I, I. I do performance festivals.、Mm -hmm. I do terrible clubs and dirty basements. <laughs> I do gal art galleries. Yeah. Like, right. You know. So I don't fit the mold for a tour. So I'd rather just I look at windows in my life when、mm -hmm. I can go on a great adventure, sure, and in the kindness of people out there who will who will take the time to book me and my boys or just me solo,、mm -hmm. if it works, if I can get across that ocean or get across the country, I'll stay there as long as I can if I can build. Some other gigs around it, and that's、yeah. all it is. Who's got the way to get me there? Yeah, and then. Then I'll send out the, the pigeons and、uh, build a, a a window of time. Yeah, yeah, a、sure. window of adventure. Right. I don't believe in living in one place. Like、mm. I, I, I just like to. Right now, I've located myself in New York City.、Mm. I've, I've changed my little stomping grounds, and I've left Austin for a bit. And now I'm in New York. Okay. So, and how long have you been in New York for? Oh, since the New Year's Eve. Oh wow. Okay. And 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 my dancer dog elf always says hooves to the hogstone, <laughs> and I put my hooves to the hogstone and and went to work and yeah. Then, Now I'm closer to London. I can get to London、oh, faster.、Sure. I can get、yeah. here faster.、Yeah. The, the the gateway of New York is helping me because I don't have the money, and it started getting harmful to to for me to get out there because people couldn't afford the cost of Austin to blah blah blah. Right, right. So、uh, I want to share this work with as many people as I can.、Mm -hmm. I want to go to Tokyo.、Oh, yeah, I want to go.、Sure. You know, like、yeah. I got places I still need to go. Yeah. So it's like. At least New York will make it a little bit easier. Yeah, sure. And I have beautiful friends there. Yeah, yeah. And they're all working their holes off, and、oh, I、yeah. want to be there to experience what they're making too.、Mm -hmm. Sure. They're making it in Austin too, but I've been in Austin for thirteen years.
I believe that places play their part. That's true. And I yeah. think that you can't sit around a fat old dead uh, horse corpse. Yeah. Uh, Austin gave me the best decade of my life. Mm -hmm. And it created so much. And yeah. the, the, the family I forged today is, mm -hmm. is remarkable. So mm -hmm. it was time yeah. to go on a great adventure. Mm -hmm. So I always say I'm from Austin because mm -hmm. that's where I was born. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Uh, but. I don't like to be like, they'd be like, where do you live now? And it's like, I'm on an adventure. I live wherever I can go to yeah. sit for a minute and plan the window of, of opportunity sure. and travel. Yeah. And that's fun for me. Yeah, well, it sounds like the most liberating way to do it. And I, I'll i do anything to not allow someone to categorize my life. Uh -huh. Fuck you. <laughs> if you gotta call me this, if you have to understand where I live, if you have to know if, if my beautiful eyes are real, fuck you. <laughs> You know, is is that goofy eye on your head real? <laughs> Fuck you. Well, that's scr I'm gonna scratch out the next question then. Oh, I guess. what is no, it? No, no, ah, I'm just not kidding. <laughs> is my beautiful hair real? Yes, it is, asshole. Well, that's the rest. There that's you that go. one scratched there, off. Scratch it off. Take it away. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, just live in it, right? And just live mm -hmm. in it and have fun and eat the buffet. Yeah, just sort of follow your will. Or yeah, your, your gut. Yeah, Follow your yeah, fucking yeah. gut and please listen to your fucking gut. Nobody listens to their gut anymore. They listen to the Kim Kardashian and the advertisements before the goddamn videos we're trying to watch. That's right. It's like, listen to your gut. Trust your gut. Most of the time, it's right. Yeah, almost all the time. Uh, you know what? Because you know why? Because it's yours. Yeah, it's right for you because it's coming from you. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows what's going on inside anybody's fucking head or life but mm -hmm. you. Yeah, that's true. So fucking listen to yourself. Damn. Yeah, people get themselves into a lot of trouble by ignoring. Yeah, yeah and yeah. that's why I don't like um competitive things. You know, uh -huh. like. Like, why? Like, let's do what you do and let yourself do it. Mm -hmm. And just you focus know? on that. Focus on that and believe in that. And also being happier for other people's success actually helps you. Fuck yeah. And showing yeah. up to other people's shit helps yeah, you. Yeah, that's true too. I have a new rule. Yeah. And I'm trying to spread it like all my legs. <laughs> um, I firmly believe all you fucking artists out there that we need to dispose of this wretched need to be on the guest list of all of our friends <laughs> shows yeah I'm i with you have on that. done this for myself i made a promise to myself this year that i will not ask for to be on anyone's guest list yeah unless mm -hmm. <laughs> that shit is so sold out and I somehow missed the boat. Yes. And it's very urgent and vital that I see this. Like like, like Jake Shears was in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't know he was there. And I was like, oh, fuck, I really want to go see Jake. Yeah. And I really want to say hi. And I, yeah. and, and I wrote to him. And I, what I'll do is I'll say, look, I know you got a ticket. Yeah. I will pay for it. Yeah, Nine right, times right. out of 10, they're going to give it to you. But, I, but I, I meant it. You know, I, I know what you mean. He asked me about the day of the show at the Wiltern or whatever. He's yeah. like, well, well, okay, what do you need for list? I was like, no, no, I bought tickets. Do you know what like, that makes them feel like? Heaven. Good. Because it means that you care. Yeah, yeah. And I'm really, I love giving a guest list out to people who really need it. Sure. I dare you to fucking tell me you're broke. <laughs> show up to my show and I see you drinking at the bar. <laughs> I fucking dare you to drink at the bar. I will take that drink and shove it up your hole. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what happens, right? I'm broke. I can't get in. And then they're blacked out at the end of the night. Uh -huh, yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. But I think that, I think it's really important right now because the world's a piece of shit right now. Mm -hmm. And a lot of artists, we're out there being vulnerable and we're working hard and we care. Yeah. And, and the smallest gesture of buying a ticket means a lot. It definitely, especially if they know... And it you, means... To, yeah. I'm sorry, I just no, no, no. chopped you off. No, no, uh, I was going to say, if you know the person, you know, just, it That's makes... That's the best. Yeah, exactly. And it may, I like to... I love to tell someone i'll see you there yeah and they go oh you need a ticket and i go no i got it two weeks ago right and yeah. the look on their face is so beautiful right and and fuck me we need that right now yeah definitely and that that's the way you know everybody sits around and they go i don't know what to do i don't know how to deal with this world i don't know i don't know what action to take and they just sit and scream and scream and scream and scream it's mm -hmm. like no fuckhead <laughs> go buy a fucking ticket to your artist friend's show yeah gallery i don't care what show it is 
and support that. Yeah. Because that's something to be done because the art they're making is saving the world. Yeah. Support the things that bring you joy. And I'm not talking about me. I was like, <laughs> my art is not saving the world. But I mean, it's an exchange. It's a, it's an exchange and it's saying, I see you and I believe in you. And y you can sure as fuck afford a $10 ticket, you piece of shit. When you're drunk at the bar, <laughs> fuck you. Anyone asking for anything like that, I, I always think like, oh, you know, that's uh, that's the price of a cocktail, which Exa I know you that's get That's how anywhere. I do it. I say it's yeah. the cost of two cocktails, yeah, yeah. which you will be drinking. And yeah. where'd you get that joint? Yeah. <laughs> and where'd you get that bag of cocaine? And where'd you get that thing on your arm? Well, they know the dealer. And so he, they just asked to be on the no list shit, for that. No shit. They're yeah. those people. Yeah. <laughs> Samples for life. <laughs> Fuck. But that's the dealer's fault. Stupid dealer. <laughs> but I mean, I think that that's a special thing right now. And I think I, I think it's encouraging to start to, to understand that as a community. And I, that's yeah. why I love... That was one of the reasons I wanted to go have an adventure in New York. Right. Because everybody's working real hard mm -hmm. and they're doing exciting new things. Mm -hmm. And I want to be present and I want to uh, support those things. I had these two fags I love so much. And they'd be like, they look at me and they'd be like, uh, they like theater fags, you know. And they'd be like, you want to go see a lemon tonight? And we go <laughs> see a wretched play at that wretched playhouse in the town. You know, I was always doing some weird shit. Uh -huh. Bless yeah, yeah. their heart playhouse. Uh -huh. And we'd always, we'd always go see shows. Like once a month, we go see a lemon, they'd call it. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's good to support crap, too. It is. Also, I love a bad movie. Oh, like me it? too. Oh, yeah, yeah. As your home can show, <laughs> you you have posters of the, some of the worst things ever created. I mean, that, behind you, Suburban Cabando, starring Hulk yeah, Hogan and Shelley I Duvall. Mean, Times Square. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> you got a John Cameron Mitchell on your wall. God help you. No, I love John. I love John. Joe Breyer, that poor, that poor shit got screwed. Yeah, uh, terribly. He, he deserved to be a successful motherfucker. Yeah, and that film is fabulous. Too. It is it's good. So good. It's yeah. a beautiful film. Directed by Kieran Turner, everyone. Yeah, Go check it out. Beautiful film. Uh, yeah, you, you, you're screwed. Uh, yeah, you're Paternity, uh, over there with the Burt Reynolds uh, disaster film. Oh, yeah, we were just talking about Beverly D'Angelo, oh, yeah. that old ashtray with legs. <laughs> and <laughs> Diane Cannon, who you uh, who I deemed. described as mayonnaise on the outside of the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> True words, you've never been she's spoken so of this. She's so weird looking. I she love really her, is but funny. Ooh, she's like the three, two, one ante at the house. Yeah, yeah, she is. There's something a little suspicious. Oh, yes. Like, mm. she's the warm, she's the uncle's wife, the aunt. <laughs> <laughs> like you go get dropped off at Auntie and Uncle Mayonnaise's yeah. house, and she go gets the iced tea and just leaves you alone with Uncle Frank. And it ain't yeah. iced tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's that, do you remember the special uh, wine from Different Strokes? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Blue Nun. They were drinking Blue Nun, and uh, Dudley sort of fell victim to the the bike shop guy. Oh my god, yeah. that was wrong. That was real wrong. Yeah, I love a very special episode though. Oh, me too. Mm -hmm. Oh, a this, two parter. Yeah. We were they, we were the the kids who got those oh, special absolutely. episodes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Facts of life threw us some real oh, real softballs. Really, yeah, they really did. Yeah. <laughs> Soft meaning a big hard ball. Flanked <laughs> uh, <laughs> us right in the forehead. Right in the eyeball, my good eye, just right in it. Oh, they fucked me up. Mrs. Garrett, lesbian confusion. I don't know what was Joe. Fun. Joe, I love me some Joe. Mm -hmm. I'd sit on Joe's face for days. <laughs> oh, so good. Do you have any hot celebrity crushes? Oh, man. See, when I get asked, I always blank out. Uh, in any era, too. This is not. Oh, uh, sure, sure. Uh, Plummer, Christopher Plummer. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Sound of Music, yeah, kind of, the sure. captain. Yeah, yeah. I would eat everything on him for days. <laughs> Today, I still would. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a mm, delicious person. Uh, Very striking features. He's just a bossy little bitch. <laughs> Tell me what to do. Um, oh, man, I'm trying to think. That's now. okay. It'll about, come to me when we're when I'm walking when, out the yeah, door and yeah. I'll scream it at you. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. just keep the portable of a quarter on outside. Mm -hmm. What about you You're talking about making meals before? What do you love to make for yourself and for others? Oh, so uh, people know this about me. Whenever there's an event or an occasion where I can present, <laughs> uh, I make, it's called a uh, spaghetti salad. Oh, spaghetti salad. And it's a uh, Mayonnaise based. Really? And you boil the noodles, mm -hmm. regular spaghetti noodles. 
uh, and put some salt in the water, mm -hmm. and then you drain the strain the noodles and put cold water on them, mm -hmm. and then you put them in a big bowl. And you must use Hellman's mayonnaise. Strictly Hellman's. Strictly Hellman's. Don't get the light shit. Mm -hmm. And you put mayonnaise into the noodles. A, probably a good two heaping, heaping uh, super spoonfuls. Sure, sure. Uh, and then you dice, very care, uh, small dice, little cubes of um, cucumber. Uh -huh. And you peel the cucumber. Okay. You got to peel it. Yeah. And you chop it up and you throw one whole cucumber, a okay. good sized cock cucumber, <laughs> a Ron Jeremy cucumber. Yeah, yeah. You throw that into the bowl, mm -hmm. uh, one tomato diced up in the bowl, and mm -hmm. one green bell pepper okay. in the bowl. Yeah. Salt and pepper, mm -hmm. two blobs of mayonnaise, and you stir it up. Mm -hmm. You will be sending me thank you cards. I'm looking forward to making that for the Keep next function. Chilled. Yeah. And then at, the best thing is at night, you go, you creep into the kitchen at night and it's cold. <laughs> yeah. And you eat it and it's the best. So, man, it's yeah. ma spaghetti, salad spaghetti salad is my signature dish. Well, we'll have to make it. We're having a party this weekend. I think oh, we'll make you it. will be liked. Yes. And it won't ruin your bathroom. It doesn't go through you. <laughs> um, it sounds like actually like it sets you up for like a solid night. It sets you up for yeah. a night. And then later when you're coming down, it's waiting in the fucking fridge. That's perfect, yeah. And it develops the juice at the bottom. Mm -hmm. and, and you just mix it up. And you can add more mayonnaise because the sure. noodles will absorb it. Oh, and then it's even better. A little bit. Yeah, a little mm -hmm. bit. Do you have any favorite uh, intoxicants? Well, um... Like liquor, sure, or anything, anything. anything. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I love the herbs. Mm. I like the green. I like natural things. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like the weeds and the edibles and the mushroom things. Oh, sure. Things you can grow in your garden. Yeah. I'm very fond of. Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, mind altering things are good sometimes. Mm -hmm. I've, I've said uh, goodbye to a lot of things. Like uh, I don't drink much anymore. Really? Because I like, I just, I've been traveling so much mm -hmm. i really don't touch the, the the jack daniels you know jack daniels to me was kind of like poor old tammy wynette and george <laughs> jones you know yeah yeah he beat the fucking shit out of her mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they had a fun career you know yeah, until she died records. on a couch yeah. <laughs> wearing a wearing a snuggle a snuggie <laughs> yeah uh but um and she hit his keys once right sure and he drove the riding lawnmower down to the liquor store exactly. and got picked up on the highway <laughs> you know what i mean like it just starts to become that relationship yeah yeah and, or, or or like Whatever Porter Wagner did to Dolly. Oh, it's, good lord! You know, Who knows? That, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's a she's a very discreet woman. We'll never know what happened ever, there. But ever. I trust Dolly. Something and, not and, good. For you know, sure. and I'm not a Loretta girl. I'm not going to st stand by the uh, old do. Yeah. And, yes. and, and, <laughs> and let him do what he do to me. Yeah. Uh, and Tammy said, "Stand by your man," but fuck that shit. Mm -hmm. I want to. Uh, speaking of, I I would love to write an album one day based off of all the country women's uh, handling of their men. That'd be fabulous. Yeah. You know, like the Loretta. Loretta just beats the shit out of him, and then he beats her back. Kinda. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or, and Loretta beats up the women who come near him. Oh, sure. Okay. Tammy just yeah. says, it's okay. And she takes painkillers and lays on the couch <laughs> and dies. <laughs> Dolly says, I'm gone. Yeah, I'm She says, here. you can have it all. Yeah. Uh, I'm leaving you. Right. She just walks the fuck mm -hmm. out. Tanya Tucker just fucks them till they're dead. <laughs> 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 Tanya Tucker is the Christy McNichol of the country oh, world. Oh, my God. That's so true. It's fucking true. It, Tanya yeah. Tucker is the Christy McNichol <laughs> of the country world. And it's beautiful. Wow. Uh, Do you have a favorite Christy McNichol film? I want to get yes, back to the country. Yes, the pirate movie. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Little course. Darlings, hello, yeah, yeah sure. Little Darlings is incredible. The pirate movie is the best movie. There's a song in it called Pumpin' blowing <laughs> and she's she's underwater pumping and pumping and she's like always wearing white uh linen clothes that are sure. flowing with the that woman on mama's family who wore her dresses on her shoulders oh my god that yes dirty yes. bitch yeah uh vicky she, lawrence no not no. vicky lawrence she was like the long she was married to bubba she oh. was that stupid long-haired country when she wasn't in the caliber of Carol and Vicky oh, okay. and Betty and yeah. and all and Rue yeah. and all them. She was the later mama's family. Uh, oh, okay. And she wore the dresses around her shoulder. You can get a box set of the entire Mama's Family. My friend Mark Luke has it. Oh, yeah? You know when you meet people and you can't quite figure out their uh, <laughs> sexual tastes? And you're like, I 
think this person's really perverted. <laughs> yeah. Or there's something about kind of like that bitch on the thing, the ma- the mayonnaise lady. Oh yes, yes, What's yes. Diane Cannon. Diane Cannon. Yeah. You're yeah. Like, there's something. Gr- <laughs> there's something <laughs> like, about this person that. I'll never know. Yeah. Nor do I know if I need to know. <laughs> but my friend Mark Luke, he does a party called Fag Bash. Oh, in right. P-Town. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I love him. He's a Louisiana trash can, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. And I'm originally about, from Massachusetts, so I've been to, I've been to Fag Bash a yeah, number of yeah, times. I've, yeah, I've performed there lots. Uh, perform loosely. And uh, <laughs> there's something about Mark that's like, you, you got some dirty in there. <laughs> one of the, the strings on your harp are very interesting. And then one day he's like, I found out. He's he's obsessed. As much as I'm obsessed with uh, Jessica Fletcher, yes. he's obsessed with Mama's family. That is dirty. And he's got the box. And, <laughs> it, and that's... You know, and I'm like, that's a dirty song. It is. And the, yeah. the house they live in is dirty and the little crochet sign oh the crochet sign is and really, everyone it's raunchy. in that house is gross yeah yeah and and then the new characters they brought on were disgusting mm-hmm. and yeah the replacements were just bad and uh let's have a little taste of the they, uh, they have advertisements i bet they don't because nobody watches no one, this shit no one wants to be associated oh it's not loading good yeah maybe it's <laughs> you probably saved us from a life of pain Oh, there is an ad for John Oliver. That's that seems right, John He's Oliver. He's a fan. part. He seems like he'd have the Mama's Family part. I think he would. Oh, <laughs> look at yeah. the font on that shit. And poor Vicky Lawrence. Oh, I know. How long? Do you know Vicky Lawrence tours now as no. Mama and Vicky? Are you serious? Yeah. So you get oh half God. the night as Mama and, and half, half the night, night as Vicky. Vicky. Oh, okay. I know why I'm going to be looking for tickets Hello. for her. I didn't know that she changed her name officially to Vicky Lawrence Schultz. Poor thing. I know. Do you know that she's the original singer of The Night the Lights Went Out in Georgia? Oh, that's right. That's Hello. right. Vicky's got some secrets. <laughs> Hence this perversion. Oh, yeah. This is this is just a, this is just a taste horns, of the gay The horns again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Mark Luke, Mark, and I, when I stay, at, I stay at his house in P Town, and when he told me that, I'm like, let's do it, and not fuck, <laughs> no, but marathon. Right, we fucked through film. Yeah, right, exactly. So a marathon. We, every of- night we come home busted because I was in my Tammy Wynette stage, <laughs> and we come home. I nearly burned his house down. I tried to cook a. He'll tell you about. It. I tried to cook a pizza, and we were all asleep. <laughs> and you know me, I'm not good at night like that. George would have hurt me that night, uh, but I burned that pizza so bad. But he came downstairs, the uh, fire alarms were going yeah. off. He comes downstairs, mama's family's on the TV. <laughs> I'm half naked, bust out on the floor, and there's a fired pizza in the oven just <laughs> pouring smoke out. Oh, it was so embarrassing. Uh, he's a good friend, he is. But yeah, perversions. Yeah, Perver- that's a deep, deep sign. Perversions. Deep, 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 deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking perver- Anyone Endless. who likes mama's family, you better. <laughs> better be into some twisted shit you better have a, a room in your house that you can hose down <laughs> there's a swing in there oh there's a swing and it's a children's swing <laughs> and definitely a drain built into the floor oh, oh yeah my friend just got a basement with a drain really in it. and he's a pig and, he, and 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 it's just pretty remarkable it's a huge basement in in brooklyn yeah you can literally spray it down wow and it goes into the drain i That's was like you're fr- fucked <laughs> I was like, don't ever invite me over here for mm-hmm. a party. Well, you know what to get him for a holiday gift. A yeah. Mama's family complete And a children's set. swing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if 3 to 1 Contact is available on DVD. Oh, I would not get that. No. I just couldn't. I couldn't live it's with too myself. Much. It's, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. too dirty. Too buku. <laughs> <laughs> Any other country ladies we missed out? Because one of the favorite things for me about country people is, no matter how debaucherous people think rock and rollers are, the country people miles beyond mm. Boylan Jennings was mm. out of his mind on coke mm. Mm. Uh, Willie Nelson one of his wives uh, when she caught him cheating again he was passed out drunk uh, rolled him up in a carpet stapled the carpet shut then took all of his clothing and so he had to wake up hung over rip himself out of the carpet and there was nothing to wear to oh, go yeah that's so good <laughs> that's really good yeah revenge is sweet in the country world mm-hmm. yeah that, i think those are the ones that pop in my head right now yeah yeah well you hit a pretty good list of that yeah. so yeah 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 so yeah the george jones tammy wynette lifestyle yeah yeah and tammy I, tucker I, is the christy mcnichol of the uh, i'm telling you country world she is i love her i i, I was i was greener than the grass that, that we laid on <laughs> underneath that underneath that alabama sun 
Guess I should have known that old highway was his home. She's fucking yeah. truckers in the yeah. feet in her backyard. <laughs> She's probably behind a Kmart fucking a trucker. Sure, yeah, greener yeah. than the grass she laid on. Yeah. Like that's my kind of girl. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be in the Christie Club because she's probably. I think I am now in the Christie Club, in the in the in the Tan Tanya Club. Oh, because, the Tanya Club. Because okay. you know I was in the the Tammy Tammy the, Wynette Club. Yeah, yeah. Got rid of George. Got, rid, got rid of, of Jack. Like Jack Daniels yeah. was my George. Sure. Now yeah. I'm in the Tanya Tucker, Christy McNichol Club. I'm just laying around naive as fuck. <laughs> greener than the, greener, browner than the uh, piece of cardboard I'm laying on. Yeah, yeah. And, um, Looking and, for a Matt Dillon. Yeah, and just fucking, fucking those things and, uh, <laughs> d and smoking and eating everything I can grow. Any other words you'd like to share with our audience before we uh, conclude? I'd like to just say that uh, everybody out there, start showing the fuck up in public to places. Get the fuck off your machines when you can. Yeah. Uh, live shows are better than Netflix shows. And uh, try to be as supportive of your friends and colleagues and artists out there because they need you. And, and understand that you can do something for this wretched white dirty man in a castle cult run world that drinks blood and eats brains from a homosexual hanging on wood <laughs> uh you can really do something about that or start doing something by supporting the vulnerable creative freaks out there who are who are trying to do their best to change the world and where can people find your music Oh, there you go, business. See, I oh, never yeah. think of that. That's when people start <laughs> slapping me. Uh, you can go to christinemusic.com. I just had to make a new website because my friend erased mine. <laughs> and so my website looks like a chicken made it. <laughs> but uh, christinemusic.com. Or you can just go. I mean, my music's on. Um, everywhere. All, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just YouTube, Google Spotify. Christine. And I apologize yeah. in advance for everything that shows up. Uh, oh, and before we close actually uh the few things about your stage show sometimes a butt plug will i did it, it last night you did that yeah that's in like the a, mayan theater see, i've never had the opportunity to see you live so i've oh, seen some videos must. no i we'll must have to work yeah. that out. we will have to work that out yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah certainly because i remember being in p-town like two weeks either before or after you were there or something mm -hmm. like that and missing that so mm -hmm. but now now things have changed yeah so, i've yeah, been doing to. that since day one it's yeah. a bouquet of balloons i tie it to a butt plug shiv it up my ass and I walk out, the first thing I do, and then I offer it to you as a, a, a sign of safe passage. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's a special thing, and you will see it soon. I will. I'm I'll looking make forward sure to it. of it. I, I'll send you a gift, and I'll send you a ticket to whatever show you fucking want. That's really lovely. Oh, I might just buy the ticket. No, you get the no, free one. Oh, that's sweet. You that's get the very free sweet. one. <laughs> well, Christine, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for fucking having me today. Hey, oh, and I'd like to ask the guests to uh, pick a song, any song, to close out with, because we like to play anything for the the folks oh my god i want oh god i want you to play uh uh a song called uh it's from pj harvey and oh i love her four track demo album. oh yeah that's a great one and it's uh the reeling okay when she says i want to bathe in milk eat grapes robert de niro sit on my face She's amazing. She's one of my favorites. She's. Uh, I didn't mention. See, now I'm going to start remembering. Oh, artists. that's fine. So we can PJ keep going Harvey a little bit. Yeah, PJ Harvey is a perfect example of an artist who is not afraid to do so. Much. She just did the score for All About Eve on the West End in I didn't London. Know that. It just opened with What's a Fuck from X Files, the redhead. Oh, bit. Uh, Gillian, Gillian. Gillian Anderson. Gillian. Or, yeah. Yeah. Jill, yeah. 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 Gillian, yeah Gillian Gillian. Gillian Gillian. Yeah. <laughs> She's on. Uh, they just they, they just opened All About Eve on oh, the wow. West. And, and yeah. PJ Harvey did the goddamn music That's for That's wild. It. Yeah. She's so beautiful and she's yeah. so courageous and she doesn't give a fuck if you like it or not. Mm -hmm. um, and she changes with every album. She's just yeah. special and she's really fucking amazing. I hope I work with her one day because mm -hmm. I really love her. And um and she's got me through some good shit. So yeah. this song is just one of them songs when you just have had enough or you just really want to get some more. Perfect. Thanks for having me. Today. Oh, 